Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up PPSSPP on your Mac which is a PSP emulator. So I'm doing this in 2021 because a few things have changed. I had a previous video covering how to set this up on Mac. It's, it's the process is slightly different now so I thought I'll create an updated video and yeah. So go to your web browser. Also want to say this video is for educational purposes. I'm not condoning piracy. I own the game that I'll be testing. I own a PSP. I've got a PSP 1000, a PSP Go, a PS Vita. Obviously you can play the game but obviously it does. We won't count that. But yeah, so for legal purposes, recommend that you have a console and the game. Okay, so if we go to PP, SSPP, and go to this link here, go to download, and as you see there's downloads for different platforms. If we keep scrolling down, go to Mac OS, this pops up. Not currently available, please go from source. You can man manually build it from the source, or you can use Homebrew, which does all this for us. So if we go to brew.sh, I'll provide a link to everything in the description. If you've already got Homebrew installed, great, you can just skip this step. If not, just copy and paste this, or you can just click this button that will copy it. And open up Terminal. You can also search for it right here. No, it's just in your application folder as well. You just go to application, scroll down, go to utilities, and there it is. Okay, so you want to paste the command that you, you know, search for there, click enter, put in your password. This is the password that you would use to log into your Mac. Don't type it in, it's going to appear even in, even as asterisks for security purposes, but it is typed. So just click enter. I put the wrong one in. There you go. Okay, so press enter. Okay, that's fine. Ignore any errors. If you do any errors, that's fine. Yours will probably take a little bit longer because I've already done it, so that's the reason why I was quick. To install PPSSPP, no, I mean PPSSPP, that's right. Brew install ppffpp and for me i already installed it you know in advance so mine was quick for you it will take a bit of time just trust me just wait patiently and yeah once you've done that we can actually run it so to run it you just put in ppffpp so this is the last this is the command that you will need to run when you launch up PP, SSPP, you know, at any time that you want to. So if I click enter, and here we go. So we can go to settings. In here, we can change the backend from OpenGL to Vulkan. We can do a bunch of stuff as well. We can mess around with shaders as well. We can enable full screen by default. You can change the rendering resolution. I've got it at 10. Depending on how powerful your computer is, you can lower it or you know, increase it. The higher the rendering resolution, the sharper it looks. You can put VSync on, which just you know enables well, vertical sync, and that means you just don't get screen tearing. Actually, there's a bunch of other settings. Feel free to take a look. You can upscale it as well. I've got I've got it on maximum. Isotropic filtering. This is to basically. You know, mitigate this little problem that you have in games where on at obscure angles the textures look a bit blurred and the higher this is the you know better that looks you can also show the frame rate if you want to by default it won't be enabled so I'll leave that you can you know, do mess around some audio stuff and now in controls if you go to control mapping you can map your controls and you can add you know map a new key for d-pad up you just press that and let's see if I put T it's key B, KBD dot T, which is keyboard, and it's T. So you can also connect a gamepad up and also map that as well. Okay, so I'll just leave that as it is. That looks all good. You can go to, so also in controls, you can deselect this because this is on screen touch controls. Really, that's more for stuff like touch screen devices, but I'll leave it on there so you can see what it looks like. You can mess around with the border style as well. You can enable mouse controller, so it's really done cool for certain games. 
that will really you know bring out some of the gameplay in it you can enable networking if you want to put some you know more, more networking functionality some tools like save data there's a system here as well feel free to have a look but generally speaking most of it you can leave you can lower the PSP model but that is the best model there is anyway so the most powerful model uh, okay so click back and to launch a game up let's go to games and then like, go to home directory just find where it is for me it's on desktop Tekken 6 if I click it it launches the game up you can click this button to go full screen as well to leave it as it is these are the on-screen touch control they're all saying and that's the frame rate they're all saying so I'll press X start here we go I'll just turn the volume down a second now we can select the character go launch up the match Okay, and I'm just going to use the keyboard to fight this guy, to fight Bob, or Big Bob, the lights are calling the Gustin Bob. Let's see if I can get a third Okay, that's it. If I press the escape key, we get this, and you can obviously modify settings on the fly. You can continue, exit to the PPSFPP menu. If I click save state, this is pretty cool. So if I go to exit to menu, and I go to this, let me go to that, we can load this state. If I load this state, it loads us back to exactly where we were. We could be mid fight. If it's Tekken, we could be mid race. If it's like Need for Speed, it doesn't matter. So we're not beholden to the normal in game save functionality, saving wherever you want. I think that's one of the best things about emulator is you know, save states. I love that. I wish you know, more. I mean, I understand why other games, game consoles don't do it because it requires quite a bit of disk space to save for newer systems because you're basically saving the RAM uh, you know you know what's in the RAM uh, whereas with old games that you're emulating their RAM on the high creating multiple save states isn't that much of an issue okay so that's it and uh, we can exit to main menu and exit and that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video